Just hear me out. What's up, guys? Back with another episode of Rich Talk, and let's talk about robots. Cue the intro. <laughs> in the crowd, singing, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Guys, welcome to another video from me, Rich Talk, and we're gonna be talking about robots and why should they look like humans or rather should they look like humans is the real question so the question i want to uh, put towards you today and towards myself as well is that should robots look like humans so uh it's based on the thought of the uncanny value uh, theory which is a theory that if something humanoid looks close enough to be human but not exactly we immediately become extremely repulsed by it. So for example, robots that kind of, you know, sweep up your house and stuff like that, like Roombas, vacuums and stuff, even if they're completely like uh, intelligent, like artificial intelligence or Siri or Alexa, we don't find a problem with those robots. But if they ever look like they were just robots wearing human skin, we would find it extremely repulsive for obvious reasons. And we would basically be against it. So, I'm going to ask myself the question, should robots look like humans? And I think, mm, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you may have heard that. I said yes, as in no and yes. And there's reasons why I put forward as to why. I would say, yes, robots should look like humans in certain cases, and no to others. For example, robots in homes and other environments I think should look like humans but robots that are working in, in industrial fields or like for example mechanics or uh, robots that will replace some mechanical things they shouldn't look like humans even if they are fully autonomous I think so because they it's less functional <clears throat> us as humans are already kind of limited in what kind of strength we can output and things like that so a bipedal robot would probably not be anywhere as strong as a robot that's built with four feet or even three feet so I think that humans so for example robots that would replace like certain kind of health care like for example maybe home health aids or CNAs or things like that because they can't replace nurses and they're not gonna replace doctors and they won't replace most of the other people who do um, more of the advanced things uh, for now so for people for certain things like ambulation or or rather uh, moving patients from one side of the bed to the other or from one bed to the other those things can be done easily by a robot and it's a, because it's a very straightforward instruction rather than you know uh, putting in uh, a catheter or something like that so in other words if if it, robots in the health field should look like humans but robots that are not in a health field or not in a family environment for example a babysitter even though i don't know if i could trust a robot with my kids yet if i had kids um but if they are working in industrial environments or underwater above ocean things like that you will never be able to get them to a point where they look exactly like a human because the human skin is not really resistant to most of these situations. If it gets next to high heat, as blatantly as I say, it melts. So even if you created a silicon uh, uh, humanoid skin, you would still have to leave way for certain things such as the enhanced strength at the joints and things like that. So they would never be able to look like um, normal humans because of the fact that the technology would be limited just by the humanoid form so that's what i think tell me what you think down in the comments and i'll see you in the next video if you enjoyed this video or found it useful you can comment like subscribe and check out the description down below where you can find the links to my podcast or links to the equipment i use to make my videos Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want anymore. So just hear me out.